Ellering is the first wrestler that I want to introduce to you. He's, um, he's a great athlete and a great person. Um, I think Paul, as a matter of fact, is, uh, has got, and, and we'll give you more about this a little bit later on, but I just wanted to make the point, and I think when they see him, they'll believe every bit of it. Uh, Paul Ellering is an N NCAA, <coughs> pardon me, weightlifting champ. That's Boy, right. this guy has got muscles on muscles, but not only that, he's not just a big guy that's got great big muscles. He is some kind of fine athlete, as you say. How about let's take a look and see, right. uh, see Paul. Let's take a look right now at Paul Ellering in action. Here we go with great all-star wrestling action, a two out of three fall match coming your way. Introducing in the corner to my left from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 245 pounds, Fernando Torres. His opponent from Melrose, Minnesota, weighing in at 234 pounds, Paul Ellering. Two out of three fall referee, Marty Miller, down to Roger Kent at ringside. All right, Al Darusha, thank you very much, everybody. All set to go again now on All Star Wrestling, coast to coast, all across Canada, the United States, and overseas. Paul Ellering in the white trunks against Fernando. <laughs> down. He was trying to escape on that one. But Paul right on top of him and riding him. Has him in a surfboard. Modified. And if Paul were able to get uh, both those hands up in the air, he'd have him in a double hammer. But now Paul could be in a predicament. Ah, he's outside the ring. But he rolls over. Both men are in those ropes. They're going to have to break. And the referee uh, discovers it. And Halloring steps back. Picked up Ben Ellering. Now look at the size and physique of this young man. Every muscle group in this young fellow just seems to stand out. Very two and he has to roll the shoulder. Fernando does. He goes into the side headlock. It doesn't really do much for him as Ellering in complete command. Look at the physique of this guy. All those muscle groups are just, just super developed. And of course, Paul has held, uh, you've heard me say this before, ah, drop toe hold, up and around. He was in a position there to grab the toe hold with his uh, left hand. But Ellering has uh, held uh, several NCAA uh, weightlifting titles, championships. Uh, the deadlift, yeah, we've talked about that of 745 and a quarter pounds. It's an awful lot of weight for a man to lift. That's a deadlift. That has been broken. But Paul held it for quite a while. And when we were in uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, oh, there's, there's a, a wrist lock. Fernando putting the pressure to Paul Ellering right now. Paul trying to get his pins under him. Fernando keeping him off balance just a little bit now. There is brute strength going to work as uh, Ellering Calls on all those muscle groups I mentioned, and oh, and he throws them back. But uh, Paul, a graduate of uh, South Dakota State University in Brookings, first lock again, and news is from Herr Hernando. I said Hernando, I meant Fernando. And, uh, oh, they went for the head scissors. Now he's got it. Paul's left leg was just under the arm of uh, Fernando, and uh, but he slipped it over there and got the scissors and putting the pressure on now. And to take a look at the size of those legs and those muscles in Paul's legs, you can imagine the type of pressure he's got on that, that object between his knees. Fernando's head. Coloring a very modest young man. He uh, didn't start out to try to develop his body per se. He was out for weightlifting, but he, he wanted wrestling as his number one love. And in the process of training for it, he said, I, hey, the good Lord just gave me this bod. But uh, it wasn't that simple either. He, you realize he had to really work at it. Now, Fernando gets out, and now he's got the double toe hold. And Ellering pressing up. He gets one in the ribs. An elbow. There's one thing about having such muscle development uh, as the, the type that Ellering has. When someone does deliver a blow to you, an elbow smash, if you don't get the point of the elbow, uh oh, yeah, the ropes are going to have to break, and it looked like Ellering had a chance for a pin there. 
But if you get a, if you don't get the point of the body into a muscle uh, like that, then you're no, you know, you've got a lot of protection, is what I'm saying. But if you get the point, you can get a real muscle spasm. Now, collar double hook up, and Ellering now in with a double wrist lock. Amanda Don claiming that Ellering grabs some hair. Well, Paul's hands were too busy maintaining that lock. Loops the leg now. Trying to get up. Hernando getting his pins under him. Ellering giving away several pounds. Quite a bit of weight on this one. Forearm smash by Hernando. Oh, and he pulled him in. Both men went into the ropes that time. Now, oh, look out. Oh, and into the turnbuckles. Ellering's hot. Here comes a body slam. Boy, oh boy. Look at the way he picked up that huge man. Oh, and he let him have a knee right under the heart. That'll slow him up. A cover, one. He's outside the ropes and on his side.